Welcome back 646. Now the current financial crisis due to COVID has left many people unemployed, feeling frustrated and helpless in a time of extreme vulnerability. And 23 ABC has been dedicated to helping individuals and businesses to rebound. We sat down with a local marriage and family therapist for a little insight on how you can break out of your isolation with a little creativity. Most people don't do well with change and especially sudden change. The kind of change created by the pandemic. Less of a schedule and things are constantly changing with work schedules, with um, community health directives, with information regarding what the pandemic is, who it's affecting and how it's affecting people. I think that makes people feel very uncomfortable. Shannon Ashburn is a marriage and family therapist who's seen an uptick in people seeking advice. For many, the end of the isolated school year did and mark the end to the chaos. A lot of times our kids don't have the same developmental capacity and um, maturity to be able to articulate their feelings and emotions the same way that adults do. So you can start to see a lot of different things happening with our kiddos. And as the pandemic has progressed, there's been different timelines that have been given. And so I think a lot of people had expected or anticipated that by the time that we got to summer, there would be some sense of like what our previous normalcy looked like. And now that we're well into summer and that hasn't happened, I think things have shifted a lot. And then additionally, as as we did move into summer, we saw some like opening up and closing back down, which uh, in general contributes to that um, feeling as well, because it perpetuates that uncertainty of what is the next month? What is the next day? What is the next week going to look like for all of us? Ashburn says don't wait for life to return to normal. Make adjustments. For example, if your family looks forward to a summer excursion like a camping trip, bring it home. Setting up tents in your backyard or making s'mores around your fire pit or even creating like a campsite environment, doing some of the games and things that you would normally do. And if you're Zooming with family members, don't make it just a conversation. You can play games of bingo and all kinds of other things um, to kind of get everybody doing something other than just having a little chit chat over video. And if you're looking forward to that big family trip, bring that home too. But just Googling on the internet, maybe some of the destinations or places that you and your family um, like to go or maybe have wanted to go. There's a lot of stuff out there that offers like virtual field trips and virtual tours. And couples should not never forego date night and maybe have like a wine tasting or a beer tasting or your favorite meal ordered in and then just create a date like atmosphere. Ashburn says it's all about working through the challenges together. And for more information on getting back to work, making ends meet, maybe managing the pressure, go to our website, turn to 23.com, click on the rebound section. We have a wealth of information there to help you get through.